Hi everyone! Here in Module 2 we explored the relationship between program or curricular goals and course goals. In curriculum design when the relationship is clear and that goals match up, that is known as alignment. Alignment is one of the most important concepts in curriculum design because it ensures that there is a purpose, a pattern, a theme, if you will, that ties all the learning together. Otherwise, course and programs would be a random pattern of facts, of activities that don't make sense. Alignment, beyond ensuring that there is a clear relationship among all these elements, is also a tool that the review, at, it's also a tool at the review level of assessment and accreditation. Assessors are always looking for ways to measure curricular rigor and quality, and finding alignment in any curriculum or course is a good thing. Building upon last week's module of being learning, learning centered in our curriculum, uh, curricular and program alignment allows instructional designers a framework to work with, especially as changes and improvements are made. Uh, take a degree program like this one, the EDD. Here in the program, there are overarching goals at the university known as University Learning Goals. The EDD aligns with these University Learning Goals as a whole. And furthermore, within the program, there are specific program outcomes. These are what we envision students to develop. Uh, these are things such as the ability to assess a curriculum or program, uh, the ability to use technology, or know about the global structures of education. Within each of these program outcomes are the specific classes that correspond to the program outcome. Uh, so, for example, this class, Curricular Design in Higher Education, aligns with the program outcome of assessing student achievement and evaluating the effectiveness of programs. Here in this class, we have three outcomes that are aligned with three assessments, or the assignments that you do. So, all in all, everything from the small to the large, the university level, the degree or curricular level, to the class level, all the way down to the assignments, is aligned. Another term that's used in alignment is mapping. This is the way in which goals are aligned to each other, and if you were to display all this alignment graphically, you could see which outcomes are mapped to which assignments. It's a powerful yet often overlooked concept and one that will serve you well as we head to the next module on how we consider the sequencing of elements. Uh, that is, what should be learned before something else. We'll also explore the concept of a need statement and how we even begin to determine what has to be included in a curriculum. Well, that's all for now. Uh, please post through Sunday and don't hesitate to contact me with any questions you have. I'll see you all online.